Hey guys, welcome to Geek and Plunder, where a bearded man ransacks every store he finds and he shares his loot with all of you. This is all about geeky stuff, which can be toys, collectibles, and technology. And this is the first video, a premiere, you lucky bastards. In any case, for this first episode I have something special and extraordinary. Almost godly. Thor Love and Thunder is coming out in the theaters, and I kinda like those new movies. Like the old tour movies. I have issues with those movies. The Ragnarok, look at this. I have the, uh, the Gladiator Hulk right there. Was insane. And that has a lot to do with the style and of course the director. The second movie, Love and Thunder is coming out and there's a lot of stuff that happened. If you have been following the Marvel Universe, you know that things have been evolving. Like Thor has had a few new weapons and he has been hanging with a different crowd. Now to celebrate the release of that movie, I got this one. It's been on my desk for a few weeks already. As you can tell, they couldn't sell it before April 26th. Today is uh, July 4th. This is Thor's Mjolnir, but there's something different about it. It should be one-on-one -on -one scale, and it's made by Hasbro. Alright, I got my knife. Let's get started. Oh, ho, ho. It is the broken version of Mjolnir, so into Ragnarok, Hela, which is the sister of Thor and Loki, broke the hammer. She just took it and she squeezed it till it just went <laughs> an unfortunate moment. But somehow, it is being reassembled, and we don't know how. Well, in case you saw the movie, in case you're watching this in a few weeks, you'll probably know. And apparently it gives off light and there's sounds. My girlfriend is going to find that extremely annoying. <laughs> a manual in case you don't know how to use a hammer it takes batteries oh crap but it's not going to be included and there's a stand it just comes in one piece that's kind of unusual this is the stand that's a very plasticky stand for a mighty hammer of Thor and here it is Thor's Mjolnir from a Thor Love and Thunder. The broken Mjolnir, broken by Hela, the sister of Thor and Loki. It looks epic. I have to say that, just looking at myself on the monitor with this in my hand, it is big, it's huge. It looks like I'm just powerlifting this thing. It looks heavy, but as soon as you touch it, you notice that it's plastic, which makes sense. It's a Hasbro toy, it is 150 bucks, which is a lot of money, but if you would make this in more durable materials, it would be extremely expensive. And it would be way too heavy. I think this is good for cosplayers. It's nice for kids, but I wouldn't spend 150 bucks and then put it in a kid's hand because it's going to break within, I don't know, two minutes. Like I said, it's plasticky. If you start swinging with it or hitting stuff with it, which kids will do, it will break. You can already notice that some of the parts like are twisty, like the head kind of bends a little bit. You can feel it's not super sturdy, which is fine. Again, it's something that you put on display or that you use as a cosplayer. This could work out. It is a piece to look at from a distance preferably now that being said it's on a one-to-one -one scale which is impressive and it has a lot of details look at this handle for instance there's the runes on top of the hammer and then the decorations on the head apart from it being one-to-one -one scale and looking pretty nice i think the most important thing about this one is that it uh, lights up and it makes a lot of noise but to get that done you need to put in batteries there's a slot right here to put in batteries there's another thing if you look closely there's a uh, some kind of hole and i think there's a button in there i have no idea what it is it isn't mentioned in the manual i think it might be something to kind of uh, detach the handle which would be handy for like i said cosplayers if you have to put this one piece in your luggage i think at some point it might just break off and it just gets in the way so that might be it but anyways we were talking batteries so there's this one compartment you basically take this apart and then you can see a little hatch you can open up with a screwdriver which i had lying here i was prepared not like uh, I had to fetch it, I had to stop the video to go fetch it. You open it up and you put in three AA batteries. Like three AA batteries is the most classic thing for any toy. That's why they sell them in a pack of four, so you have always one left. One too many. Let's close this back up and check out all the visual and uh, sound effects. From what I heard, it should be impressive and loud. There we go. There's this one button that you can push. Whoa. Oh god. Yeah, that's a lot louder. 
That's actually pretty impressive. I think there's one mode where it keeps going. You can actually hear the sound of him throwing the hammer. It does this vibrating chime, basically, when he throws the hammer, like, which is in the third sound. I think it is the third one, but I haven't figured it out. Where it kind of stays on, and every time you start moving it, it will light up again. Which is risky, because in the middle of the night, it might just go off. Try explaining that to your pets. Oh, look, it's still lighting up. That's like uh, the expo mode. I have to say, this stand is not the most stable. The little stand is, is very plasticky. I can basically 3D print a better stand than this. I might do that. That's actually a good idea. And it doesn't feel very secure. I feel like it can fall out any, any second. It's not super stable, but it looks cool. Having this on your desk or having this on your cabinet, it is definitely a centerpiece. Anyways, I really like it. It's a nice toy, maybe a little plasticky, but I'm just going to put it up there next to the gauntlet and it's going to stay there and light up occasionally. Making rumbling noises. I would I suggest you get it? Well, it kind of depends. If you're a huge Thor fan, definitely go for it. If you're a cosplayer that is cosplaying Thor, easy. But other than that, it's a personal decision, I guess. But that was it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this first video. Make sure to subscribe if you do. Leave a comment, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.